my father loved numbers. He was an accountant and adding, subtracting, and lots of more complicated things that he could do with numbers were always fun and he taught me to enjoy uh, that kind of problem solving as well. And I was interested in science since I was a college student at the age of 15. It became clear to me that I would find my way in science studying either physics or chemistry. Then I decided to study, to study physicist, physics. I'm a physicist from background. But I was always interested in questions of chemistry. When I was uh, uh, 11 or 12 years ago, <laughs> Japan was very poor after World War II. And my father uh, took me to the uh, chemistry conference where the topic is uh, on the synthesis of nylon. I was uh, highly impressed by that lecture and I decided to be a, a chemist. I think science was both in my genes as well as in my environment, in my family. But anyway, already on nursery school, I was intrigued by the discovery of the wheel. I thought the wheel was something very special. And uh, I wanted to understand why it ran so smoothly as compared to dragging things along in the market. At around 14, age 14, 15, I knew I wanted to become a scientist. I wanted to become a microbiologist. And uh, when I started the university, I went to see the professor of microbiology and he said, you know, if you really want to do research in microbiology, you should become a chemist first. One uses test tube more than one uses microscope. So I started in chemistry, but all my life I had an eye on the biological aspect of it. I got started in science uh, very young. Uh, my uh, father was a scientist, and when uh, I was about six, he was telling me about how uh, living beings are made out of cells with genetic material. Uh, so when I was about eight, we visited the planetarium in New York City, and I heard about the universe and thought how wonderful and how mysterious, and I'd like to know more about that. So um, and as a child, I read every book I could get about science and, uh, and about how to make a telescope how to, uh, to make a radio. Well, I was always fascinated by what's going on around me. I looked at flowers and I saw different colors. Why should flowers have different colors? And uh, insects and animals and what's the source of diversity in nature? Why we have fish and frogs and human beings? What made the human being so exceptional? Uh, many people tend to take things for granted. They just walk around and they don't ask questions.